are from the book of Thank you all for coming. We have, this is our new book. It's called uh, Undeniably Crazy. And we've, uh, we'll just start with a little preview. This, we'll see all of them in the booth tomorrow. Yes. This is, um, has um, some of our new yarn dyes and the basics. It's uh, made with those. And then other things tossed in. So, yeah. And this one we have, these are should be in your shops now, the basic blacks and the yarn dye basics. And uh, so this is made with both of these lines. This is Heavenly Days. Excuse me, did I hear a question? No, she went short. Oh, hold still. Oh, that's my worst job. It's not very good at holding still. Here. Look, here I am. Okay. Can you assist me? So this basic blocks, um, we're also planning a block of the month style applique quilt. And these are going to be our backgrounds. So that's just a little heads up. Um, it'll be 12 months, and so you're going to need at least 12 and some borders and sessions. I don't think it really matters. So these are all in the new book? These are all in the new book. This one is a, one that we've moved forward. We won't be reprinting uh, that crazy thing we do. And so this cat quilt was one of our best sellers. And so we've rewritten, I've rewritten it, added the dots to make it easier. So this is a repeat, but again, because we're not printing, reprinting the, that crazy thing we do. And again, the plaids, this would be a good quilt for our plaids. Okay, this one is um, <coughs> Prince Charming. <laughs> and again, it's a wide, uh, most of like, these have been new yarn dyes. Here are the plaids, and then here's some Kim Deal. This all started from my granddaughter. A poster Janet gave my granddaughter that said, It just says, Kiss Me, it's a frog. Right. But I, so I wrote on the back of it, and I said, You've got to kiss a lot of toads before you find your handsome prince. So this is, right now, this is her dad. <laughs> <laughs> she's 10. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, this is for Daisy. Um, okay, this uh, final essentials uh, should be coming. I think it is next. No, it's next. Right. Um, <laughs> and this uh, is very nice that Lori made this for us, and I was a little worried about applique uh, with flannel, that it might be a little bit thick, and she said oh, it's really nice because we need a turn also like Barbara, and when you uh, go to needle it, it's flannel and so it sticks, it just stays right under it. So she really liked uh, applique with, with the flannel. And again, that is made exclusively out of the flannel essentials. Okay. This is this just delivered to us right before we came. came. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in the shop yet. It's still waiting to get checked in. This is Harvest House. This is the one quilt that is not in the book. It will be in uh, a future book called Absolutely Crazy. And so this is the start, uh, and so this is the only one that's not available, but it's made with the uh, Harvest House. So if you've got that in or you don't have it in yet, you've got time. Yeah. And then this is the new line uh, for market this time, the wing in it. And this is not the line, but we tried to, after we did this, we tried to uh, get the colors right. And so basics. The, yeah, basics. the borders are basics, and then the rest will be out of this. Is I intended out of this new line. Thank you. And then the rick rack takes like it takes a lot of rick rack, ladies. You'll sell lots and lots of rick rack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's my time? You're fine. You're good. So, um, any questions? You all make crazies, I'm sure. Right. <laughs> so everybody. So, so most of these. Uh, the frogs and the birds are both big, they're not fat quarters this time. They're more either five eighths or three quarters of a yard cut on the fold. And that will help you when you're kidding because they won't, uh, the customer is going to have to come in and buy five eighths of a yard or three quarters of a yard and you're going to be able to cut them down the fold and 
keep your your kit prices down for them. So that that will be a good thing on those. And I think that's about all I have. Good job. All right. Okay, so uh, our next diva is uh, Jacqueline Steves, and Jacqueline Steves is from The Noble Wife. Hi, everybody. Um, I have three lines I'm going to try to show you today in my allotted time. So. The first one um, was called Oh Holy Night, which is a Christmas line. And um, it's shipping actually, things, like right now we're, we're next month, so you should be able to get it really soon. Um, my inspiration for this was all those Christmas pageants I was in in grade school where the boys dressed up in bath robes to be shepherds and the girls had like the handmade choir robes and angel wings. So it was just kind of like nostalgic for me to think back on that time. So um, this is the panel for it, and oh, here, I'll take that, and then one of the quilts that I have on a pattern for, which is available now, is called Winter Nest, done just with the coordinates, and it just has this fun scallop edge, it's just kind of a different take on the prairie points, because I love prairie points, but I always I like to do the, um, the scouts because I just think it's a little bit different and unexpected. So that was that one. And that's just machine applique, really quick, easy. This one is called O oh Holy Night, also done with the coordinates. This one's really quick because there's only 15 blocks to piece, and then these are all just done with strips. And this was actually, there's instructions in the pattern to do um, <coughs> hand embroidery, but this was actually done with a machine. I have a CD available. So if you have customers who like to do machine embroidery or you have the machines in your store and you would like an accompanying uh, product to go with it, the um, embroidery CD is sold separately from the pattern. So if they get the pattern, they can either do it by hand, they can buy the CD extra and get it done really quick. And there's actually, there's, you only need five for this pattern, but you get 13 designs in the CD or in the pattern, so you can pick and choose whichever five you like the best to do the pattern, make it the way you want it. Can you your Pardon? I don't have a booth this time, but if you come to the Henry Glass booth, um, they'll have it. Yes, they'll they'll really have the sample there at least, you can look at it again. Um, I think you probably had, you should have literature in when you came in that has a flyer with my information on it. So you can contact me directly. It's also available for check. Um, next fabric line. This is called Fruitful Hands. Um, I put a book out with Kansas City Star back, um, last year. And um, I sent a copy to Harriet, who's my design director, and she said, oh, the artwork in this is great. Let's make it into a fabric line, because I did a lot of um, a lot of watercolor illustrations. <laughs> but um, So we expanded them. And actually, here's, here's some of the original artwork. So like this was something that I did for the book. And then this was extra stuff that I did for the fabric line. These are all just hand-painted watercolors. And okay. the panel comes in two colorways. There's the, the pink and red and the green. And this, this was made from stripe-offs. So the colors aren't quite right. If you, if you don't know, stripe-offs is like the first or second set of fabrics that you get from the mill when we're trying to um, kind of tweak the colors and everything. So the colors aren't exactly right, but they're fairly close. So. That's that's the panel. So this is a this would be a 24 inch panel that would have um, a cut line because it's a, it's because it runs on the yardage kind of like this. So we'll have a cut line for you. Okay. Um, this this is just a tote bag that I threw together really quick. Um, I love this hair print. I just I think that this line would be really great for home deck for children's clothes. I mean I'm just thinking about a skirt or a little girl's dress with these hairs on it or a pillow or like a big armchair done with that big hair print would be really pretty. Um, it's also great for aprons. 
Um, also, when you came in, you should have gotten a handout that just gives you an idea of some aprons that you can put together. I didn't do an apron pattern because I know that you all have like lots of apron patterns sitting in your store right now. I know you do. Um, so this this would make a really cute apron. So that's just an idea to give you, you know, how they would work out. Um, you could cut out the squares in the panel and make like pop holders out of them. Or you could cut out the squares and make them like the pockets of the apron or the top of the apron or something like that. So lots of things you can do with it. Um, and I love the colors because they're really like juicy and summery. Yeah. So this one would be um, summer delivery. <coughs> And then my latest project is something called Happy Town. And um, this is actually, this is not even released yet. So you guys are all getting like the first peek at it. Um, I'm teaming up with an organization called Quilts for Kids. And what they do is they um, collect quilts that quilters make and donate. And they give them to children that are hospitalized. So um, because as Linda was explaining earlier today, Kids can't take a stuffed animal a lot of times into the hospital because they won't let them have it because it's not washable and it can carry like germs and dust and stuff. But they can they can um, always have a quilt because it can be thrown into the washing machine. So there are six million hospitalized children in the country right now, and Quilts for Kids donates 25 to 30 thousand quilts a year. So I designed this fabric line for them. All of my royalties are going to go to the Quilts for Kids organization. Um, Every glass, every glass is also doing. Every glass will also be doing um, a contest. So um, if you have the fabric in your store and you have your customers make quilts out of the fabric, they can send the quilts in for the contest, and there will be um, cash prizes for the quilts. And then after the contest, the quilts will go directly to quilts for kids so that they can be distributed. It's a great idea for you to have for a workshop, and it's a pay it forward kind of thing. And then this is this is what the panel will look like. This is a full yard panel. So my idea in creating this was, um, you know those rugs that are on the floor, that are like the play mat rugs and the kids can get down there with the match cars? And I thought it would be really nice because some of those kids are sick and they're not down on the floor playing, but they could have a quilt and just while it's on their lap in bed or wherever, they can have their little matchbox cars, their little dolls and things. And um, I wanted to be happy, so the name is Happy Town. So. Um, so that will be, you can ask for that from your distributors and your um, reps in the summer, I think around July. Mid-July, we're going to start. And also on the, the card, as we usually do with our, with our cards that everybody has, uh, there's going to be various projects, a project that will take, that has the panel, and then a peace project. Yeah, so for Happy Town, there's a sample of the, the free projects to promote the line. To Happy Town. It is Happy Town.